Hello my kings and queens, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm doing okay over here. My name is Queen M from Queen's Life. And today I wanted to do a test taste. And it is from Chef Boyardee. So as you all know, that the Chef Boyardee usually comes in beef. And the picture is right there. Well, Chef Boyardee came out with the ravioli in the chicken um, flavor. And it looks like that. So these are the two comparisons here. And this is a new um, addition to Chef Boyardee. And I wanted to compare it to the original um, ravioli. So the left side here, this plate here is the beef ravioli and this plate is the chicken ravioli. So the first thing that I noticed is that as you can see here the ravioli is very very big and then the chicken ravioli i'm going to put it side by side look at the size of difference that is so this is the chicken and this is the beef so they're making them smaller look at the difference in size i can't put it too close to you guys because then I'm going to be dripping all over the place. Um, let me try to fix this because I want you guys to see the plate. Sorry for reaching. Can't get it. Okay guys, so this was the best that I can do. So these are the two plates that I have here. Beef here chicken here i was showing you guys the difference in the ravioli side so i'm gonna go ahead and eat the um regular ravioli so that i can remember because it's been a very long time i hope you guys are doing well over there on your side of the world Wow, I haven't had this in such a long time. Mmm. I grew up on ravioli, but my favorite is spaghetti um, and meatballs. The big meatballs, not the small ones. To me, they have to taste differently. That's why I prefer the, the bigger meatballs. So now that I tasted the regular one, you guys all know how that tastes. You could taste the beef. It's always drenched in sauce. They're calling it um, pasta sauce. So I'm going to go with the chicken now. And see how that tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh no. No, you didn't do that to me. It's spicy. What does it say here? It doesn't say that it's spicy. Ooh. So the regular beef ravioli is 320 calories, um, 1,350 sodium, and five of the sugar. And then the chicken is 170 calories, which is half of the beef. And it has 550 sodium, which is more than half less sodium than the regular beef. And the sugar is six on this one. So this one has everything lower by more than half than the original one. But when I eat it, I'm getting a spicy taste. I wanna go ahead and cut one up and take a look at the inside. So basically, it just looks white like chicken. I don't know if you could see that. There you go. You see that it looks like it's chicken in there? That's the way that it looks. 
but it's spicy. I'm going to eat it now for the rest of the video. But hands down, the beef ravioli is going to win. This doesn't have too much of a flavor. The meat doesn't have too much of a flavor. It's spicy. I don't know if it's because maybe it has black pepper, but I can't handle any kind of spice. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's just the seasonings that they used inside. But it's definitely a, a kick to it. Um, but like I said, I probably won't buy that again. Um, I know Jaden's not going to like it. He doesn't eat processed food at all. So I don't really buy the ravioli. I did it for the purposes of this video. If I do buy one <clears throat> once in a while, it will be the spaghetti and meatball like I said. But let me just continue eating this since I have it already. Um, I haven't eaten in two days. Today is my third day. So even I'm not going to eat both of these fully. But I haven't eaten like in two and a half days already. So I'm just simply going to, I guess, have this as my dinner and call it a day. This doesn't taste spicy in the least bit. Mmm. 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 A little bit of a ASMR. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Let me have some of my food uh, punch in my butt first coffee tumbler. Because it's getting quite hot for my taste buds. And I'm sorry that I'm in this angle. I need to have you a little bit up, but then you couldn't see the plates of the two different raviolis and the comparisons of them. Mmm. Mmm. If you like spicy, maybe you should give it a try. But, mm-mm. Not for me. It's not meant for me. But, the only good thing to this is that the one with the chicken has less sodium, less calories, and less sugar. It's the only thing. The, reg the regular beef ravioli does have 1,350 sodium. So be careful if you have blood high blood pressure issues. That's a lot of intake of salt. Um, and the calories are 370 and this one's half this one's 170 and this one I said it before 320 so if you're counting your calories but you want something fast and easy and quick and inexpensive frugally you want something um, in your tummy you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time in the kitchen and you're gonna buy one of these my opinion is to go ahead with this one. Just try not to eat the extra sauce. They do have a lot, a lot of sauce. They, it's almost like a soup kind of. Try not to eat that, and then you you'll reduce the um, sodium in it. Um, and if you like the spice, then go for this one and try this one, and. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried the chicken ravioli. I would love to know if you tasted what I taste. Because everybody's taste buds is different. 
So I would love to know if you guys think the same as I do. Mm. Mm. So guys, one more on the chicken, because that's what technically we're here for. I did try to eat a lot more of the chicken than the beef, just to make sure that what I'm tasting is what I'm tasting. And as I continue eating the chicken one, it just keeps getting spicier for me. And you don't really taste the flavor of chicken in this at all. So guys, my review is the Chef Boyardee ravioli chicken is a thumbs down. And if you want to eat a Chef Boyardee ravioli and you don't know which one to choose, and you don't like spicy, this one's the way to go. Don't eat all the sauce in it so you reduce the sodium. I'm giving it a thumbs up for that one. Um, I will not be buying this again. I will never suggest it to anyone to buy it. You buy it on your own um, taste buds. But for, my, for me, in my only opinion, and from what I like and my taste buds, I won't buy it again. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this little test taste and review. So please give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. And if you're passing by my channel, I have a lot of different contests. Please subscribe down here below and hit the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, YouTube lets you know. So with that being said, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to stay home, stay safe, spend time with your family, create memories, capture them on camera. Don't forget to be positive, spread that positivity, and that positivity will always, always, always come right back to you.